What's going on YouTube? Noah 5 Ash back with another Road Back to a Thousand here today. We're out here at OTB round one recap. Uh, was playing decent, putting well, just uh, uh, <clears throat> just uh, ended up chunking it into the water on my second shot on hole 17 and then uh, backed it up and kind of went to go throw a 200 foot upshot sidearm with a devil hawk and sadly I lost my Corey Falcons premium devil hawk into the water so hopefully that comes back I'm gonna be sad if it doesn't but it's okay I just I thought I threw it good and just stabled up fell out and then I threw another devil hawk upshot missed the putt took an eight gave all the way my strokes right there and so Finished four up, but it's 970, or like it's, I think it's 974 rated, and I'm 972, so it's two points above my rating or something like that, or it might fluctuate, but I shot at my rating today, which is not bad. Uh, putting great, just got to be more confident on the birdie putts, because I kind of lacked that confidence on the birdie putts, and I kept missing them low from like 25, 27 feet. If I would have been a little bit more confident on some birdie putts, I think I would have I would have scored a little bit better. Like the ones that I did throw up confidently, they, they had a good chance and almost went in. And I was hitting all the par comebackers. So let's just get a couple putts up for you guys today. It's pretty much it for the tournament recap. But yeah, fuck. My putt's been so bad before this week that like it's just it just feels weird even having a chance on the putting green. Before it was like I gotta park it and then lay it up. Now it's like I actually have a chance to make some putts, so it, it feels good. I did have a stat keeper today, so if you guys look at my stats today, it was it was close to being great. Like it was close to being greatness. I just need to to rep out some 25 footers a little bit more. So. It was close today, man. It was real close today. I was like right on the edge of greatness. I'm just, I'm just glad for my putt to kind of have some idea of where I know it's going. Before, honestly, before this weekend, guys, it's been kind of horrendous.
feel like a lot of people punish themselves for putting bad or putting, you know, like if you have a good round out there, I see a lot of people will just chill out after, go get something to eat, relax, you know. When, when, but then when they turn around and have a bad round, they're grinding their ass off, right? They come out there, they they get out on the either the the, the the field work and they'll they'll get in some field work or they'll get in some putting or both, you know. And I, you know, I I hate punishing myself because you know when you punish yourself, you're kind of scared to learn, you know. And so I try and just make it to where like I put after the round no matter what, every single time. It doesn't make it like a, a punishment thing, you know? It's like, it doesn't matter if I shoot good or bad, I'm just gonna come out here and I'm gonna get putts up, so. I truly feel like I figured it out. Like, not like fully figured it out, but like I fully I figured out why I've been like yanking them so bad and just not been in like my normal confident stroke. And, and I, I'm really excited. If you guys didn't watch my last video, uh, I use I used to use like my I was using like my fingers like here, and I was kind of gripping the disc like here, which it, it can feel all right, you know, by doing that, like kind of putting all that pressure kind of in that thumb area was kind of going like super flat now I'm kind of pinching like right here with this thumb meat into this palm and I just kind of a, it's like here and I just kind of let the fingers fall Oh, I think we're gonna do some smash burgers later. I think we're gonna do a Safeway. We're gonna grab some, maybe some more waters. Uh, uh, with the smash burger, the trick is getting like a fattier kind of beef. Don't get that 90 kind of percent lean. Get that like 80, 85. Uh, <clears throat> it'll help you out with like not sticking and letting it smush down nice and evenly. And then uh, I put, so like I, I'll make the patties. I'll kind of like patty them out. And then I'll take some onions and then I'll squish them like into one side of the patty. And then you throw the non onion side down, let it get real crispy on that side, flip it over. And then it almost like gets crispy on the other side, but it like sautés the onions and, and crisps them up. And it's just, so, it, guys, it's so good. And then you gotta get the, uh, you can't just get sharp cheddar cheese, you know, from the Walmart. You gotta go like get the super fake tasting plasticky cheese for some reason when that when you put that on there and melt it in after you so you crisp it up on the side with the onions and you throw it over on the side with the onions you put the cheese on top while you do that i'm telling you it is like you make you make two patties a double bur like just a double patty burger that shit is so that shit is so good guys I'm not sure what side we're gonna have. Maybe potatoes, maybe like a bit. We probably should have like a veggie or something, but.
Like I really, I really feel like I know where my disc is going now. I'm telling you guys, if you're, if you're real in those fingertips, really trying to put all the pressure on those fingertips, try it out. Try it, try smushing that, that thumb meat in there and just kind of laying that thumb on. It almost feels good to tuck it too. Like I've been, I've been working with this tuck right here for those distance putts and it's been, it's been feeling really good. Feeling really good. Even though I shit the bed on 17, my road back to 1,000 is still in play. Uh, we shot just above my rating. So we're going to keep trying to climb the rating. I'm only gonna putt for like maybe 20 minutes, nothing crazy. Just to get dialed, just to get Phil dialed in and then I, I gotta make some food for Holly, she's starving. All right, that's it for today's vlog right there. Four solid putts to finish it off. Like to end it off on a high note. Uh, shout out to Gateway. Thank you guys for making the best putters in the market. Nobody makes better putters than Wizards. 
than the, or sorry, just the gateway lineup in general. Nobody makes better putters in general. I think the reason their putters are better than most people's is because the flight plate, right? In the middle of the Frisbee, like right in here, right, right where you're pinching it, it's a little thicker than most Frisbees. And so I think that's what helps them have success on the, the putting side. But I think that's what also can hurt them a little bit on the distance driver side and the fairway side is it's just that flight plate's a little too thick. You know, you need more of that gyro dynamic, but their putters, insane. Like you cannot beat gateway putters. Nobody has, nobody will. And I think it's because of that thick flight plate. So go check out some putters at uh, Gateway disports.com pretty sure i said that right go use code 5 ash get 15 percent off i love all you guys uh i will see you guys in the next road back to a thousand uh round one recap that's a wrap so yeah i'll see you guys peace